President Trump delivered a big shock over the weekend when he claimed on Twitter that President Obama had wiretapped Trump Tower during the last presidential election. Let's set off a flurry of responses. The former director of national intelligence went on TV and flat out denied that candidate Trump or his campaign were being wiretapped or had ever been. Others disagreed with that. And then current FBI director James Comey asked the Justice Department to reject President Trump's wiretapping claim altogether. But today, the White House stood by what the president said. Congressman Jim Himes is a Democrat. He represents Connecticut. But most significantly, he's on the House Intelligence Committee. He's been highly skeptical of the president's claims. Congressman Himes joins us from Stanford, Connecticut. Congressman, thanks for coming on. Hey, Tucker. So uh, let's just get right to the nub of it, right to the president's allegation about the intelligence community. You sit on the Oversight Committee, so you have knowledge. Does the U.S. intelligence community have any information, any communications originating in Trump Tower or to Trump Tower in its possession right now? Uh, I don't know the answer to that question, and I suspect that if I did, I probably couldn't talk about it on television. Uh, one thing that is for sure, though, and, and the nub of it is, um, if they do, it would have been pursuant to a warrant issued by a judge, not by the command of President Obama. Right. As you know, that kind of surveillance happens only when somebody presents probable cause of a crime right. or of a foreign uh, power at work, I, and then a judge says, okay, do it. I, di I did know that. I, di I did know that. But it's kind of beside the point. I mean, you're, you're speaking to whether or not the president's tweet was literally accurate, and it wasn't. But the larger question <laughs> is whether it wasn't. But the larger well, yeah, question... I'm not sure that's is, beside the point, but... Yeah, well, but, no, but okay. because I think the average person is wondering, could it be that the United States intelligence community is spying on the president or the presidential candidate or his staff during a campaign? No, and it that, looks that like, could not be. Re really? Because it looks like they were. And there's no, a lot of evidence. No, no. First of that all, they there were. is no evidence. First of all, there is absolutely no evidence that they, that they were. And people who would be in a position to know, like FBI Director Comey, apparently wants to tell the word, world that uh, you know the former DNI, the Director of National Intelligence, said no, that's not true. And in fact, as you know, the White House has produced exactly zero evidence. The one institution that could come out with some evidence, because the president can call the head of the NSA, the head of the CIA, the head of the FBI into the office and say, tell right, me whether it. this is true or it. not, and they have not done that. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely. Right. Right, but it doesn't change the fact that they were, in fact, conducting surveillance, DOJ and FBI, of the president's former campaign manager, Paul Manafort, during the campaign. Tucker, that's that not is, really that is disputed. not a fact, and it's, and it's irresponsible well, actually, for it, you to say that that's a fact. There are allegations, there are news reports out there, but that is, that is not so a you fact. Believe that be true. To, you believe that to be untrue? Tucker, I sit on the Intelligence Committee, so I probably know more than, uh, than perhaps you know, about this than perhaps well, 50 people we on the planet. Want. And uh, no, there is, there is, uh, right now, there is absolutely no evidence to suggest that that is the case. Now, that, of course, is part of the investigation whoa, that whoa, have whoa. just begun. So you're saying that everything that we have read, these FISA requests, the three, two denied, one approved, all the reports that Manafort and two other associates of Donald Trump were under surveillance, that's all false? Is that what you're saying? What I'm saying is that the report, and when you say lots of outlets, you're talking about The Guardian and The New York Times. And, and the BBC, and, yes. And, and none of this stuff has been, has been confirmed. We don't know where it came from. As you know, who is being monitored pursuant to FISA warrants is a highly classified thing. And further, as you know, you use the word spying. You know, uh, yes, I, I don't did, quite know what that means. What because is. I'll tell you no, what no, it no, is. No, it's, no, no, it's no, 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 no. When a judge says, doesn't know he's being listened into. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. So that's what police do when they're listening in on drug dealers and child that's molesters? That's right. It's spying. No. And sometimes it's justified and sometimes it isn't. But let's call no, no. it what it is. Spying, it's spying is when we go to Russia and try to recruit uh, Russian generals to give us Russian secrets. Okay. When law enforcement is listening okay. to anybody, that is law enforcement. Okay. It's law enforcement. In a lot of cases, it's legitimate. In most cases, it's legal. But it's still spying. This is a pointless semantic argument. I want to get to the core. <laughs> are, are U.S. intelligence agencies listening in on American citizens connected to the Trump campaign or the administration without their knowledge? You can call it whatever you want, but no, there seems to US be... U.S. intelligence agencies do not do that. The FBI may listen in on, uh, on uh, conversations that Americans are having if a federal judge has been convinced that there is probable cause to award okay, a warrant. See, so this is that why piece people of it, don't... that probable cause that makes it not spying. Okay, but this is why people lose trust in government. 
You're playing word games with me. I'm asking no, you, I'm is not the playing government, word games. Well, yes, you are. Was the government, under Barack Obama, he controlled the executive branch, as you remember, listening in, whether through the FBI or whether through NSA or some other agency, into the conversations without the knowledge of those involved of Trump's associates, including his former campaign manager, Paul Manafort. And you're saying there's no evidence. My question is, is that true? It's been reported. You, you, and you, you said you ask, knew. You can ask the question using Barack Obama's name as many times as you want, but that will not change the underlying fact that the president of the United States does not have the authority to order a wiretap on anybody, and that, in fact, if the president did that, that would be a severe violation probably and I'm of not the law. But and I'm not alleging that. I'm not alleging that. I'm merely noting you that just said that. I was making a distinction between this administration and the past one. That's what I'm saying. Under the last administration, run by whomever, were those people under surveillance by the U.S. government? It was the middle of a highly contested presidential campaign, and I think that's meaningful, and I think most people would agree right. with that. And, and we, we, know for a fact, we know for a fact that General Flynn was monitored by the FBI and that illegally transcripts of his conversation with the Russian ambassador were leaked, resulting in his disgrace and the loss of his job. That seems like a big deal. Do you think it's not? Are you saying that stuff doesn't happen? Because it clearly does. Well, let me ask you this. We, as a, ma as a routine matter, often will monitor the communications of people like the Russian ambassador. Do you think that that's a bad thing? And yes, of course, sometimes that Russian ambassador will be talking to U.S. persons. And the intelligence community and the FBI have all kinds of protections to make sure that the U.S. person is protected. Really? In this case, as you know, Michael Flynn lied to the vice president of the United States, who then, you know, per perpetrated that or, or, or perpetuated that How do we know that, that he falsehood. lied? How do we know that he lied, Congressman? Well, because he was fired and, why, and he was no, fired but how do because... We know that he, how do we know what he said in that conversation? Well, we don't Russian know ambassador. today what he said, but you do know that he was fired. And if I can just Wait, no, 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 the hold White on, House. hold on, Wait, slow down, stop. You just said he lied, and my question is, how do we know he lied? What's the basis for making that judgment? How do we know what he said in that conversation? Because it was in a classified transcript that was leaked by someone in government with the effect of hurting Michael Flynn. That was a felony. And you, yes, last Wednesday, described people who did leaks like that as quote patriots. And I'm no, just no, wondering I why. No I, I, no, I did not, Tucker. You want me, I made to, the you point want me to read the, you the quote? I've got it right here. Uh, These I are made patriots. The point that they care about this country. This is what you said. No, My own I, belief, when you get the FBI and the CIA, you know the executive branch nice, is a whole nice coming try, forward. Nice try, Tucker. I was it's referring not a nice try. to all I have people. I, w I was referring to all of the people who work into the, in the intelligence community and the, and the FBI. And I've made it very clear in the article that you're quoting from that leaking is not okay. But I was making the point that so many people within these institutions are concerned by the behavior and the attacks. Remember. President Trump saying, comparing the intelligence community to the Nazis. Do you remember that, Tucker? When you do I that do. to an institution of people who risk their lives in places like Pakistan and Afghanistan, there's a little bit of inner turmoil within those organizations. I agree I'm with not that. excusing and, leaks. And, uh, well, you appear to be, but look, I'm not defending no. that, and I would never defend that. I hated that quote because I thought it was unfair to those people, some of whom I know. My only point is the large, let's decelerate this. Let's not make this partisan because it's not. You're an American citizen, so am I. I want to believe that the U.S. government is not going to secretly collect information on me and then use it against me illegally for political ends. That is what they have done. You're fully aware no, of that. Tucker, you're in charge no, of the oversight of these agencies. You're, you're and what are you doing about it? You're, first of all, you're making statements like they're doing it and they're doing it illegally. They did it Show to General proof Flynn. That doing, I'll give you, you, you showed me the proof. You said he lied, and you said he lied based on your knowledge of a transcript you should not have known about, and I shouldn't have known about either. And its release you, was you, a felony, and you say, know that. Look, you are, you are besmirching the FBI and the CIA and others if you say they did that illegally with no evidence, and you have no so evidence. You so tell, you tell me, as a member of the committee, how, imagine a scenario in which that transcript of General Flynn, who was then a private citizen, the release of that, the leak of that to the press was not a felony. You give me that scenario, since that, you're the expert the, on this subject. The leaking, the leaking was illegal. The oh, it was. I thought they you were just said it wasn't, and I was them. besmirching them by saying so. No, no, no. You said they were using the information illegally. If a warrant exists, they were using and if it a illegally exists, when they leaked it. Oh, as the leaker, you just of course. Said, yes, of course. The people you the described leaker, as quote patriots. I'm not saying the leak is. No, no, no. You're, you're totally making that up. And I did not say the leak was legal. You were making it sound as though the people who were listening in on the conversations no, were acting illegally. That I don't happens believe pursuant that. I don't believe authority. that. And I'm not okay. saying that. I'm merely saying that. 
all, and I'm making a reasonable nonpartisan point, I think, that I would expect you to agree with, which is when you have a government that collects information, and we have all these standards designed, as you just said, to protect us, and how dare I question the protections, those protections didn't work. And a guy, fairly or unfairly, had his reputation and career destroyed over this because someone didn't like him. That's the behavior of a third world government, of a police state, and I would think as someone in charge of the oversight, you would be very concerned about that, but you don't seem to be. No, once again, you're misrepresenting my position. Leaking is wrong. Leakers are not patriots. Let me be very clear about that. But you also know the story here, which is that the deputy attorney general and others, according to news reports, went to the White House and said, the vice president misrepresented what happened in Michael Flynn's conversations. Michael Flynn could be blackmailable because we're not the only people who know that Michael Flynn lied to the vice president. So nobody was trying to get Michael Flynn. People went to the White House and said, your national security advisor could be blackmailed because uh -huh. he lied to the vice president. How did that information wind up in the Washington Post, I wonder? Because there was a leaker, which is oh, not the right okay. thing to do. Okay, so now we're kind of getting back to my original point. Tucker. Which, it's certainly not that complicated, which is why I wonder why you're dodging. So here's my broad <laughs> question, since you are in charge of the oversight, how many Americans have their personal information swept up by the intelligence agencies, by NSA or others, every year? What do you mean by swept up? Perso the NSA, for example, taps into the fiber lines that's been widely reported that cross the Atlantic and in, and in other places, and they sweep up a massive amount of data, both from the internet, from phone calls, and they are not supposed to be looking at the data of Americans without a warrant, as right. you know. But they collect right. all this data. Right. And my impression is, from living here, that you guys who have the responsibility of oversight do not know how many Americans' data is picked up by these intelligence agencies. And my question is, why don't you know? And shouldn't you be interested in that? So, so it's a really interesting question, and we're very interested in this. It's critical to oversight. So, for example, you know, it won't surprise you to know that we have the capability, and quite often we will want to listen in on phone conversations that potential terrorists in places like Pakistan uh, and, and, and other places around the world are having. We may want to look at the emails that, that right. potential terrorists are having. It won't surprise you to know that from time to time they might email or have a conversation with an American. And so when, when our intelligence agencies pick up that information, sometimes the information is either an American on the other end or sometimes it's about an American. And so right. our intelligence community has an elaborate set of protocols to try to protect, and they're human, right? They don't always get it right, but they try to protect the information of those people who are, uh, who are U.S. citizens and therefore entitled to Fourth Amendment protections. Well, Do sure, they always they... get it right? No, they don't. But there are an elaborate set of protocols. Now, now if you're I'm calling, sure that's it, right. but if I you want to go the Edward Snowden know route, because I'm... I'm I'm hearing Tucker Carlson please, as Edward please Snowden don't, please tonight. Don't, please don't call names. I'm asking you a sincere adult I'm not, question. I, I, you, you're calling me Edward Snowden, which I'm certainly I'm, I'm not. I'm telling you that you've taken the no, position because no, no, you're, you're now name being calling very critical about doing. these. Not at all. <laughs> not at all. I'm asking. You, I'm not being critical of the intel agencies. I'm being critical of you because I don't think you really know to what extent they're following those protocols because I don't think that your committee has demanded and received a, a complete listing of the, infra, of the names of Americans, or at least a description of the Americans, the number of Americans who've been surveilled intentionally or not by these agencies. In fact, I know that you haven't. And my question is why? Well, we do receive on a regular basis um, reports from the intelligence community of uh, uh, the, the, uh, the intensity of when there are errors made, when their protocols oh. are not followed. That's a key part of oversight. You're right. We don't That's get a long oversight. list You're of every single... That's not oversight. You're letting That's not oversight at all. You're saying they're doing a good job. There's no oversight no, at all involved. No, I'm, oversight I'm is when you go that. and check, and you're not I'm checking. I'm not saying that. You're using words like illegal, um, and in no, fact, I'm there saying exists leaking plenty is of protections. I'm saying leaking is illegal. We agreed on that. We agreed so on that. you're saying they're they go through all these elaborate protocols, but you're not checking on them, and then you're calling that oversight. No, no. And I'm saying, when why I should say, I trust w that? First of all, when did I say we're not checking on them? Once again, Tucker, you're putting words into my mouth. That's a lot of fun on Fox News, but it's not particularly accurate oh, to the way News. the intelligence no, community operates. I'm asking you real questions. Let me finally ask you about something. No, you're not. That, you're asking me loaded questions with all sorts no. of premises that you don't no, begin there's, to There's support. no prem Look. We know what happened. You acknowledge what happened. No, you don't know An what American, happened. Yes, I do. An American general had his conversation listened to without his knowledge. 
I'm not contesting the right of the U.S. government to do that. Right. I'm contesting their right to pass that information on to others who will hurt him with it, which they did. That is illegal and it's wrong. And for so, some reason, you feel the need to make defenses of it because no, you don't we, like Flynn or whatever. We have established that we both agree that leaking is wrong and probably a felony. You then went on to say that there are no controls and you're not doing oversight. No, no, I have no say idea they, if that is true or not. I didn't say not. there were no controls. You, I merely you, said that you're not getting a full accounting from those agencies, and you know that you're not, and you haven't denied that because you know you're not, and I know you're not. So, like, no. let's stop pretending. So, so what should we do? Should we stop doing oversight, or, or tell me what you need? No, no, no. You I'm saying a, let's. You want I'm, a public list of all Americans who's I'm not saying, uh, who's, uh, I'm not has saying that at all. Up. I don't want that, but I don't sit on the intel committee, and you do. I'm only no, saying but, that when you have enormous power vested in these agencies under a Republican or Democratic president, you better be really careful nobody misuses that power, or else everything collapses and it becomes used as a political weapon and that's really scary but we'll have a democratic no, president no no and you'll no 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 the same so way that's, I that's do. where you're that's where you're right first of all I, i'm really glad tucker that you're urging me to do good oversight i appreciate that I believe am. me i feel i Strongly. feel the weight of that responsibility uh, you should uh, quite a lot but then when you go on to say otherwise it gets used to, for political purposes that's just i think the technical term is baloney uh huh Okay, let me ask you one last question. Um, so the, the director of National Intelligence, James Clapper, said yesterday on television that there was, quote, no evidence gathered that he was aware of, of any collusion between the Trump campaign or Trump himself and the Russian government. Since you've avowed such respect for the intelligence community, I assume you'll retract your claim that the Russians hacked this election and that Trump is a puppet of Putin or whatever. This kind of ends the story, doesn't it? So, so, just, so just so we can be clear, because this really kind of illustrates something about the Tucker Carlson show. You're saying that the DNI said today that the Russians did not hack the election? No, I'm saying no, what I just said. That is exactly what no, no, you just you're said. You're not listening. I said yesterday on NBC, Clapper said there is no evidence that he's aware of and it's almost a verbatim quote, that, that there, there was, was surveillance, that there was Trump collusion. Power. No, no, there was collusion between collusion. the Trump campaign and the Russian government. Right. And the allegation from day one, or the implication certainly from the Democrats has been there was some kind of collusion. The DNI says there's not. Is that significant to you? There, there is no allegation that there was collusion. There is an investigation, which, by the way, Republicans like Senator Burr and uh, Congressman Nunes are fully participating in. There are questions about whether there was. There is no question about whether there was Russian hacking, which was what the question that you asked earlier. The intelligence community, including Clapper, believe uh, with high certainty that there was hacking and that it was done on behalf of Donald Trump. Whether there was collusion and or whether there was contact between the Trump admitted the Trump uh, organization and the Russians is the reason that we've got two investigations happening on Capitol Hill today all right congressman thanks for joining us thanks Tucker